What's going on, folks? We've got the Pioneer SX737, 190 total watts, 35 watts per channel. Probably conservative estimate there. You probably squeak a little bit more out of those. Uh, just want to show you the back on this here. We've got our turntable plugged in here, music streamer plugged in here. This is just, I like to use these a little for um, my antenna. I know it's weird. And then I've got a uh, the main cosmetically is on the back, so you'll never see it. Just right here, this little edge here, got a little crushed. So we're sitting here on the A speaker channel. I'm gonna flip it around first, but let's look at the top. Here we go. I mean, it's super clean, no scratches or anything of that sort. Let's look at the side. We're gonna flip it around this way. Also very clean. I'm sorry, my lighting does not is not conducive for this type of stuff. And then come around to the front. And that is also very clean. No major visible scratches on the silver face. There is like a couple, there's like one right there. Um, you know, a couple small ones, but I mean on top of there, but on the front of the face itself. It's looking pretty good. Now I will say it probably needs to have a lamp replaced. Let's turn these off so we can see that. Right in here. Definitely a dead spot right there. Yeah, I mean, it does. it's not as apparent, but I would say right around there, you could probably use a little bit brighter. Yeah, I mean, you can definitely see that. The lamps look good though. Probably this one as well. Not as bright as they could be. I'm not an LED lamp person though. I like the incandescent, I like the warm glow of the incandescent. So they're a little bit too cool for me on the LEDs, but you could decide to do that on your own. Let's look at the knobs themselves too as well. Knobs are looking, I mean, these are really clean. Uh, probably one of the cleanest I've ever seen for this age, right? 1974, was that when this was created? So, I mean, those are, those are really, really solid looking. I know you're only looking from one angle, but they, they look like that good all the way around. It's not like when you roll them around to the bottom, it's they look really terrible. So I'm just gonna play a couple sources here. We've got the turntable, let's do that one first. And uh, so we'll put that on the phono. Let's see, well, that says mic, so that's the mic. There's the phono, there's the phono one right there. So, uh, and we gotta turn on the speakers. Make sure my volume is down. Deal with God. You know what it is. Kate Bush. We got the loudness on. Pretty. I mean, I've got this. I've got this hooked through a subwoofer too. So. We're gonna stop that. Now we're gonna go over to the aux. I'm gonna play my personal favorite here. It's a great track here. DK, DZN, Camion. Just super clean. Turn that thing up. I would say it could be a little bit warmer. Just my, my humble opinion. Maybe turn the loudness off, maybe that will help. Just a little bit of muddling in the bass lines. It's not as like punchy as what I feel like it could be. No, no static though. I'm doing that's the treble. There's a bass. No static on that. No static on the volume. You know, if you wiggle it or whatever, there's no static. Balance, no bleeding. There you go. Right channel, left channel. Really, really clean there. So, all right, your pots are really good. Your pots are really good. I would just say that there is some, it, it just, 
from what I've heard. It could be a little bit more. The bottom end is just a little bit, it's, 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 it's a little bit heavy, if you know what I mean. Like the bass is there, but it's not like a distinct, uh, you know, sound of bass. So. It's a little punchy there. Still, just, just lack. It just, they're just. I don't know how to describe it. Just like it just, there's like this, um, this gravity that it lacks, so to speak. Don't get me wrong, it's still there. But I'm also hooked in. I also have a hundred watt subwoofer in my office, so everything runs through there and then runs to runs to here so th there is there it's that might be muddling with it too as well it's not a direct speaker connection if there's direct speakers i'd have to get i'd have to give it a second listen because it might be my subwoofer that's it's not the best subwoofer it's just something i found at an auction it's actually pretty trashed still works though anyways just wanted to go over those let's do the radio real quick All right, so we got the stereo is on there. The FM light is not working there. So that's probably, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's phono mic aux. It's that light right there. So that's missing there. Yeah. Anyways. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Just wanted to go over that. Uh, listen to it for a little bit. A couple different things we listen to. We listen to some rock. We got uh, Kate Bush on the ones and twos. And we've got uh, on the streamer, we had a, a, a down tempo, you know, jazzy number there. So just I uh, want to go over this. Like I said, case is in really good condition with the exception of that little crush in the back. You've got uh, the knobs. Everything else is in really great condition. I think personally, I think personally, it probably just needs a recap. Um, there's no drone, there's no buzz, there's no hiss when the, when everything goes on, but it's just, they're just, there's just like a tonal, uh, sound to it that probably could be improved. And so, uh, just take it for what, what it is. You'll probably have to listen to it to hear it, but, uh, that's my, my two cents. Thanks for watching and, uh, go find it on our store. Peace.